Georgia, congratulations on your new contract. How does it feel to have signed a new deal? Thank you. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Um, I've been here four years already and I've loved every single minute. Um, so to be here to stay, it's just a massive achievement and, and I can't wait to get going again. Safe to say, was it ever in doubt? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. This is where I feel at home and, and obviously this is where the, the majority of my development's happened and, and this is how I'm the player I am today and the coaches and, and the players and I'm in the best possible position to move forward and, and I'm, I'm happy here. What is it that you love so much about the club? Uh, just the environment, um, the fact that everybody's got each other's back, everyone's so supportive, but at the same time it's it's so, so competitive and you're never secure in your spot because there's somebody always chasing you and I think that that's what people thrive off and I think that's the environment that we create and, and I just love it day in, day out. You're coming into what looks like Disneyland and, and you're spending every day here, it's unbelievable. When you look back to trialling as a teenager, could you have ever imagined what, where you'd be today? Definitely not. I knew that it was something that I'd always wanted to do, but you just never know whether it's going to be possible or not. And to sign my first contract at 18 was, was enough. Um, but obviously, to be staying for even longer is even better. And, and I'm just so looking forward to the future. What was it that attracted you to the club back then? And have they delivered the promises? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's obviously one of the biggest clubs in women's football. And we're striving to always win trophies and so far I've won every trophy that there is to play for except the Champions League so that's something that in the few years that I'll be here that I look to do um, and as a club that's something that we want to achieve so that's definitely in the plans. In terms of signing your contract obviously you've spoken to Nick what kind of things did he say to you? Yeah he's just very supportive um, he's the type of manager that will push you no matter what and, and wants the best out of you and I think that's definitely what he's done with me so far and and this has got me to this point and to be able to stay and to be able to work under him again, um, it's just exciting. You mentioned that you feel you've improved as a player. What do you think you've, you've improved on most? Well, my first few years here, it was just more about like settling in and, and just training well and, and just being as part of the team. Um, but I feel like now I'm progressing into, into actually playing week in, week out. And, and they've definitely helped me with that and to try and create like consistency within my game. Um, and I'm a, quite an attacking player, um, so it's been great to, to get some more goals scored this season. In, In terms, terms of timing of your contract, it's a perfect boost for the end of the season? Yeah, definitely. We've still got a lot to play for. Um, we're close in the league um, and then we've got the FA Cup still. So hopefully we'll end on a high. Um, and then looking into the summer, hopefully, um, obviously depending on what happens, there's also the World Cup. So that's definitely in my sights. So it's given me a, a good boost going into the next few months um, that could potentially be an exciting summer. With that World Cup, I guess the timing couldn't be more perfect, especially you've, you've made your senior debut now. What's Phil Neville kind of said to you? Um, he's been very supportive. Um, he's obviously watched games at City and watched games at England and he just says that I need to enjoy it and play with a smile and, and just go out there and express myself and play with freedom and I think that's what I'll continue doing. Um, I think obviously I'm only young so I've got patience on my side and I've got time and things like that but I'm ready um, and obviously whatever happens happens um, and then obviously yeah just see what happens. So try not to put too much pressure on yourself then between now and the end of the season to, to outperform how you've already done so far? Yeah definitely I think the past eight months have shown what I can do and um, whatever I do now potentially might not make a difference because the decision might already be made but I can keep pushing and um, obviously there's trophies to be won at the end and I want City to be lifting them so we'll push for that. And you've actually got World Cup experience, you've had a lot of success at World Cup, that could potentially help? Yeah, definitely. I think that's what's making me want to get there again um, because I had such a good time at the under-20s last summer and obviously we went as far as the semis but didn't quite make the final and I want to try and make that extra step and nothing better than winning a World Cup so that's something that as a nation we need to do. In terms of your personal form, obviously you've had a great season. You're now a regular starter in the lineup. Is that have you done something different this season? Like I know there's been a bit of a positional switch. Do you think you kind of benefit from that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm the kind of player that will try and adapt to to anything, and I think just my work rate has has really impacted this season and my fitness levels. And I think I can now go box to box throughout the game. I can make runs in behind. I can defend when I'm needed to and, and I can do it off my own back rather than having to be told to so I think that's definitely something that I've improved but also just going forward I've just tried to be more dangerous and, and just try and create more on an attack um, and obviously just the quality 
and I've still got a lot to, to give and I've still got a lot of work that I need to be done, um, but I'm in a good place. And the squad is a complete mixture of youth and experience that must bring, bring so many different qualities. Yeah, definitely. Um, sometimes I forget that I'm still as young as I am um, and so do the other girls when they're giving me some stick and then they realise that I'm only really a kid. Um, <laughs> but I like it um, and the girls are so, so supportive. They've always got your back and I'm in the best place. I'm playing with the best players um, and I don't want to be anywhere else. With the news of their league sponsorship and obviously the World Cup, it is a real exciting future. It must be amazing to, to be part of it at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, Barclays have come in and, and are supplying the funds which are obviously necessary within the game. And I think it's just a massive step. And you can see how much it's grown from the, under, the, from the 2015 World Cup. sorry. Um, and obviously, it can only just keep growing and growing. And we obviously want to get as many fans as we can to our game. And hopefully, the World Cup this summer will be a turning point as well. Because obviously, it's so close. It's only in France. It's a couple of hours away. So we can get a big crowd out there and, and the backing of the nation following the men's. Do you set yourself specific targets at the start of the season? Uh, yeah, uh, I set myself ones within like amount of games played and obviously goals. Um, I've met them so far, so that's a big thing. Um, but yeah, I'll keep pushing. Still a few more games, try and squeeze some extra goals in and try and get Keats to the top goal scorer. So that we've still got not, a bit of work. Not you. I think I'm a little bit too far, <laughs> far behind, so we'll push for Keats. Obviously, despite your youth, you've actually had a lot of individual awards as well. Is that something that drives you? Is that something you, you value? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the biggest award that I picked up, obviously, was in the summer when I got... Well, I came second, so I got the silver boot um, at the World Cup. So I think it was just massive for me to be recognised like on such a world stage and, and obviously it shows that I can play when the pressure's on. Um, so I think that was massive for me. And, and that's obviously projected into, into this season because I've followed that, followed that through. Hopefully it's quite a while away, but when it comes to finishing your career, what would you like to have achieved? All the uh, trophies that, <laughs> that means necessary. Um, I think obviously because we've won quite a lot in, in England already, we need to win the Champions League um, and obviously the World Cup, but on a personal level, I'd love to get recognised for the Ballon d'Or. Obviously, it's such a prestigious award and obviously only the best get up there, so that's something that I'd look to do. Thank you. No worries.